I'll play a forest. Sorry, I'll play a forest. <laughs> this is so weird. Why are you tap said forest and play a uh, fine torn elves? And then I shall pass. That's a really weird mystical elf. I will do even less than that by playing a swamp and passing. Excellent. You're up, Garen. Play a Thornwood Fold, and I'll gain a life. <gasps> okay. Threat! Okay, Threat! Bye. Threat! Play, play a swamp. Tap. Shadowborn Apostle. Oh, oh no. man. Pastor. Okay. I'm sorry, what, Garen? I'm sensing a theme. There might be. <laughs> Plays one card. I found the theme. I draw a card. I play another for rest. I shall tap the two for rest. For well wisher, I can tap it and gain one life for each elf in play. Oh. I'm sensing a theme. You know, you might be wrong. I'll tap wannabe Llanowar elves. So I can play Risk the Redeemed. Ramping, ramping. And and then I'll pass. I'll draw per turn. I will sigh. Playing a mountain. Then this is going to be fun being virtual, but tap, tap, share the spoils, which whenever share the spoils enters the battlefield or an opponent loses the game, exile the top card of each player's library. So to exile the top card of your library face up. Okay. So during each player's turn, that player may play a land or cast a spell from among all cards exiled to share the spoils, and they may spend mana though or any color to do that spell. When they do, exile the top card of their library. So basically there needs to be four cards in exile with this card at all times. Okay. Or more if someone loses. Uh, what did everybody exile, by the way? A forest. Cool. Faith, faith's reward. This is Broken Fall. It is a three mana enchantment that you return it to its owner's hand to regenerate target creature. Cool, I have Faith. eye tyrants. Faith's reward. Return to the battlefield all permanents that were uh, cards that were in my graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Uh, Forest. Tap to add green it, mana it, to your it, mana it, pool. Not necessary. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, the, the Eye Tyrant. Whenever you attack a player, tap target creature that player controls and goad it. Whenever an opponent attacks another or another one of your opponents, you and the attacking player each draw a card and lose a life. For seven, by the way. But, uh, pass turn. I will play a tap Sulfur Falls and I will pass. Never mind, I don't like that. We're gonna go back to what we had. Play a swamp. Tap one into black for Zula Park Cutthroat. And pass. Alrighty. Sensing a theme here. I don't know what you mean. I draw a card. So we can play the exiled card at any time? Yes. Like, that we normally could? Yeah. Okay, you can I'm gonna play my game. land. Cool, now exile the next card. <laughs> Which is Door of Destinies. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to tap all three of my forests, as well as these guys, and play Canopy Tactician. Oh boy, who's Other the Other elves I control get plus one, plus one. 
Um, it's a 3-3, and I can tap it to add three green mana to my mana pool. And you know what? Let, let's go for some blood. Uh, Garen, take one. And that's commander damage. Oh, I'm sorry, two. Ouch. I'll go to my main phase and tap my well-wisher and gain four life. Wow, and then I, pass. I wonder if Felidar Sovereign's in that deck. Hmm, I wonder. It's probably not in the deck. It's probably in your hands. Hmm, I wonder. Anyways, it's your go. Neat. Play another swamp. Let's go swampy swamp. Let's go emergency vehicles. <laughs> We're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not playing my Roy deck. Let's do Felwar Stone, because I need some ramp. Me too. <laughs> Me three. Uh oh. No, um, you're good. You're good. What do you mean? Just because I have seven mana available to me. And I'll pass. Play a card, and I will play Rites of Flourishing. Everybody gets to draw two cards and play two lands for their turn. And I'll play my second land, and then I'll pass. Okay. So I get to draw two? Yep. Cool. And play two lands? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, we'll do a Scarred Baron, so I gain a life, and a Cabal Coffers. Oh. Oh. I suppose I should actually keep track of my mana this- or my life this way. I think I'll just pass. Alrighty. I keep wanting to untap these the opposite direction. I draw. You know what? Let's just go for broke. Three, four. Play Door of Destinies, choosing Elf. Nah, you're supposed to pick, like, Tiefling. You're right. My bad. And then exile the top card. It is Whoa. Elvis Champion. Wait until my, uh, my everything tribal's made, and then we'll pick whatever creature type you want. One and two more. Four Elvis Champion. Since an elf came into play, I put a charge counter on Door of Destinies. Okay, let's see. So that's one, two, three. Uh, let's share the love. I have a 4-4 four, four risk coming your way, Crispy. Uh, I'm going to tap Bellwater Stone for Black and Mountain, and I'm going to terminate that risk. Alright. Off to the command zone he goes. Um, and since we can play two lands per turn, I'll play this plane. Actually, no, I won't play this plane, so I take that back. Yeah, my card's gonna be sitting there for a bit. <laughs> my... I'll play a Slesnia Sanctuary by Bouncing a Forest. And... Yeah, let's just go ahead and gain four more life. And pass. Cool. So, draw two cards... First land for turn. Uh, I'm going to take your planes, Mur. My planes? Yeah, because I can play lands and spells. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I may play a land or cast a spell from among cards exile and share the spoils. So I'm going to that, take your planes. Is, yeah, that is correct. Oh. 
So, okay. So I'm just going to represent that as the planes. <laughs> so let's see, then... When they do exile the top card of their library, so I have to exile another card, I think. Or wait, yes. I believe I have to exile another one. Okay. So under Dark Rift, add colorless, five, exile it, roll a d10, a target artifact creature or planeswalker into its owner's library. You need the top X cards of that library where X is the result. Um, also, I apologize. I only drew one card. I was supposed to draw two. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Because that's, that's my fault. But I got to remind it. Okay, also, it's only one of each. Or, they're not one of each. You can only play a land or cast a spell. Sorry. I did not actually know that ruling. That's okay. But that's fine. I wasn't going to play anything from Exama. Um, I'll just go ahead and play my commander. Why not? And then I guess my additional land for turn, I'll play Mountain. Let's go Mountain. Then I'll go Black and one. I will set Profane Tutor into Exile with two time counters on it. Two count them, two time counters. I will go straight to end step and then I will exile a mountain by commander. Oh, hey, Wreath. How's it going? Thanks for stopping in. For example, a mystery. I'm mysterious. So mysterious. Uh, Crispy, what land did you exile? on? Uh, I exiled Under Dark Rift. Okay, I'm going to play that as my second land. Cool. I will throw that Kinky. over this way. I go uh, exile a relic card though. Oh. Fancy. And then I'm gonna cast stolen goods targeting crispy, I guess. What what why me? What what does it do? You you exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land? And then until end of turn, I may cast it without paying its mana cost. Alright, so non lands. Land. That's a non land. Consuming vapors. Target player sacrifices a creature, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness, and then rebound. Okay, I'm gonna cast that targeting Murr. Okay, what are you getting rid of? Uh, it's your choice. You sacrifice a creature. Oh, okay. Um, exile, crispy, uh, or just destroy. Just sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Okay. Goodbye, wannabe land of war elves. And then, how much toughness did it have when it died? One. Well, was it? Oh, getting... I'm sorry. I lied. I yeah. lied. Okay. Four. Four. I gained four life. And then, if you cast this from your hand, which you did not, so it goes into my grave. Correct. Yep. And then I will pass. Alright. Draw two. Uh, Garen, I will take your Reliquary Tower. I am so surprised. Yep. My cards were sticking together. <laughs> My card. Bro, I don't know if you can play that. Then I will play this Concealed Courtyard, which taps for white or black. If I, uh, It comes in untapped if I control two or fewer lands. I obviously do not. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't count too good, but it looks like two to me. <laughs> uh, one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I only see one. Hmm. One white, black. There we go. There's the boy. And I'll pass. All right. I'm just, just going to put the barons and the courtyard together because they both pay tap for the same mana.
My deck has no basic planes, by the way. <sighs> He's not a creature right now. Because that's only... Nope. Or devotion? Yep, yep. Oh, two cards, dummy. And then we can play up to two lands. So I'll play two forests. Tap Canopy Tactician to add three green mana. I'll play Marwin the Nurturer. Whenever another elf enters the battlefield under my control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Marwin, and I can tap it to add an amount of green mana to my mana pool equal to its power. Crispy, Crispy, hang on. We need a rock so that I can trip over it. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm going to tap three more green and play Hydra's Growth on Marwin. When it enters the battlefield, it gets a 1-1 one, one counter, and then at the beginning of my upkeep, double the 1-1 one, one counters on it. Mm -hmm. One, then... Oh, shit, I did this wrong. Oh, well. I'll just play that instead. Okay. One and two green. I play Bull of Nylia. Attacking creatures I control a death touch. I can pay one green tap it and choose to either put a 1-1 counter on target creature, have it deal two damage to target creature with flying, or I gain three life, or put four target cards from my graveyard onto the bottom of my library in any order. Oh, and I played an elf, so that gets another counter. Garen, you do have a force in play, or no? A force? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, then my lovely Elvish champion with its forest walk will peg you for five. Garen's got nothing to block with anyway, so... And then I will pass. Neat. Untap, upkeep, drop this down to one... Draw two cards. Uh, first things first, I will play my Mountain from Exile with my Commander, which will give me a treasure token. Yay! We like treasure. Second, uh, I'll pay just whatever, because thanks to Share the Spoils, I'm going to take Shadow's uh, Shadowborn Apostle. For all intents and purposes, it will be a rat. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Uh, I played a. I played another card from Exile, which would give me another treasure token. Fun. I will exile the card of my library, and it's a Mind Stone. Six. And what does yours do, bro? It's gonna be sitting there for a while. <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> what do you mean? You have such an extensive graveyard right now. No, it's more like I have an extensive board right now. Uh, I'm going to... Red, red, whatever. Or a shiny impetus on... What's the biggest thing over on your board, Mer? Elvis Champion? Or Marwen. It's going to get pretty huge. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put it on Marwen. Uh, so chance... it's goaded? It is goaded, it gets plus two, plus two, and whenever it attacks, I create a treasure. Okay. So I'll throw that over there, seeing how it's gonna be yours. Here, let me remind myself that I have plus two, plus two. And then... Also, write the, you can you can always write down that Marwin is goaded as well, from Crispy. Mm -hmm. With the sauce. Yes, with the sauce red and I'll pay one red from my treasure and two for Atsushi the Blazing Sky Sushi? Uh, At sushi. I know Flying Trample whenever it dies I may either exile the top two cards in my library, may play those to the end of my next turn or create three treasure tokens 
Instead, I'm going to go to my end step and exile the top part of my library, which is a Reckless Endeavor. Roll two d12s. I deal X damage and I deal Y or gain Y treasures. And I get to pick which one. The player got him when it comes. That's a zombie. I'm gonna make that a rat because there are only one of us. Shadowborn apostles aren't two twos. They're one ones. Play a chromatic only two. Okay. And then I will pass turn. Alright. Hey team, as in Crispy and uh, Garen. Okay, hang on, let me mute myself. <laughs> no, you good. I know. I'm just trying. I'm just doing the whole EDH politicking thing. It's okay. What are we planning on doing with with that crazy elf board? Yeah. How, wh wh how are we feeling? Like, is this board getting too out of control? I mean, if it does, I still have my reckless endeavor. It's only a sorcery, but I get to roll two d12s. Uh, I have nothing. I have a I have a positive attitude and five cards in my hand. That's that's all I've got. Hey, you that's know what? Good. Winning. <laughs> gotcha. See, we're all doing hump thumbs up for you, Garen. <laughs> I'll, I'll do one better. I'll do that. Yay! Uh, <laughs> so, do we feel like it's a? It's currently a problem that we need to deal with right now, or? I don't know, are you scared of it? Not really. Not at the moment. No, nah, me neither. Okay. It's just a couple of elves chilling in the forest. Uh, I mean, I think the biggest threat can't attack me, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Right, we will do... A commander sphere? Mm-hmm. And another black for a second Shadowborn Apostle. Wait a minute, that's cheating! Read the card. Reading the card explains the card. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I'm gonna pass. Okay. How about you read I'm these hands? I'm missing land drops. It's fun. <laughs> Smile. Have you been drawing two cards? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Stop falling all over the place. So I'm just like, let me just play a commander sphere real quick to try to fix this. <laughs> okay. I draw a card. Arwen gets another counter. Oh, I only drew one card. Look at me not listening to my own advice. <laughs> yeah, you good. Not you that good. that's anything new. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm going to play my two lands for turn. They are also forests. Uh, well, let's go gutsy and put a bullseye on my head. Four, six, eight. Plus three more. For a Dark Steel Colossus. I'll counter it. What did you counter it with? Insidious Woo is a modular counter spell. I chose the counter target spell map. <laughs> Okie dokie. Since Dark Steel Colossus went to my graveyard to get shuffled back into my library instead. Yep. One moment, please. 37 seconds later. Okay. Well, since she must attack. Bro, I'm coming at you with a 6-6 six, six Marwin. Does she have trample? 
Uh, no, but she does have Death Touch and Forest Walk. Okay, the Forest Walk doesn't matter. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, I'm gonna block with a Shadowborn Apostle. She trips. Okay. Uh, Athreos trigger, targeting Garen. Uh, do you choose to pay three life? Uh, yes. so that this, okay. Because if you didn't, that would have gone back to my hand. Uh, I also Zulaport Cutthroat uh, trigger. Uh, you all lose one and I gain one. All right. First blood for Crispy. No, my perfect record. Yeah, that's going to be it for me. And in case anyone's curious, I have three cards in hand. Okay. All right, upkeep uh, Profane Tutor trigger. Uh, there are six in mine. Let's see. I get to play it from exile. Hey, I played something from exile. I get a treasure. Uh, I get to search for <laughs> my life. But, but search. I also currently have no maximum hand size because of Garen's Reliquary Tower. <laughs> That's so nice of you to help other people out, Garen. I, get to search. <laughs> I mean, rights of flourishing. Right. <laughs> Nope. I kind of wish I had my group hug deck going on right now. Sorry, I don't have any group hug decks. Nope, but you do have pillow fort. I do. <laughs> it's like, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. <laughs> um, let's see. I have two things I could possibly go for. That or... This what I don't know what would be more fun right now. Blowing up stuff. I think that would be more fun. And then draw two cards. I'll take my own mind stone. I played something from exile, I'll get a treasure. Imagine minding your own mind stone. Uh, exiling. Hellish Rebuke. Until end of turn. Until end of turn, the permanent your opponent's control gain. When this deals damage to the player who cast Hellish Rebuke, sacrifice is permanent. You lose two life. It is an instant. Uh, let's do. One. For Reign of Riches, when it enters the battlefield, create two treasure tokens. The first spell I cast each turn from mana that the treasure was spent to cast has Cascade. Fun. Okay, so for land for turn, it's going to be Command Tower. And then for black, doesn't matter. And one treasure going to be Nadir Nightblade. Whenever a token I control leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. But I cast something from exile, or not, not from exile, with a treasure, so it has Cascade 3, so looking for anything with less than 3. Disciple of the Vault! I played something from exile, gained treasure. Whenever an artifact is put into the graveyard from play, I may have target opponent lose one life. I cannot cast that, so I can't get a treasure. So I'm going to lose this forever. I'm going to go to end step and lose that forever. And exile a dead man's chest. Passing. The breeding pool trap. Please spend glimpse of tomorrow. And I will play in set. With the intent to dream? Something like that. And then I will pass after that. Interesting. It is swamp. 
Okay, I'm starting to feel like I need to pull the trigger on this, because that uh, treasure and artifact sacking is going to get out of hand real quick. So... Two and a white. Or two, two white and two. Uh, overload damp. Destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. In response... Mm -hmm. Tap while wisher and gain one, two... Three, four life. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Uh, but I could, in response, just sack all five treasures, but why would I do that? Yeah, I know the nonsense that Nightblade can do. I'm just like, I need to stop this. Yeah, I'll, I'll just let it happen. Okay. Anything from you, Garen? No. Okay. Uh, I will, though, this is still Exile, and I can still play that, technically. Uh, I will, however, make, let's see, I will create three treasures with the sushi. Yep. Uh, so I have Azulaport and Athreos triggers. I'm going to have Zulaport go off first, so you'll, you'll each take two and I'll gain two. Okay. And mostly because it's beneficial to target the person with the lowest life total. Sorry, Garen. Uh, two Athreos triggers uh, oh, for Shadowborn, I'll, Apostle, and I'll Cutthroat. Pay for, I'll pay for Cutthroat. Okay. So the Shadowborn Apostle will go back to my end? Yep. And tap two in the Cabal Coffers. Give myself three black because I have three swamps in play. Play Tabarex, Hope's Demise. So ta Tabarex, Hope's Demise is a 2-2 flying creature. Uh, and it has lifelink as long as it has five or more plus one plus one counters on it. It gets plus one plus one counters whenever a non-token creature of mine dies. And if that is a cleric, I may draw a card and if I do lose a life. And then I'll tap the Commander Seer for another black for to bring back the Shadowborn Apostle. And I'll pass. All right. Oh yeah, you did put that other Shadowborn that I stole into your graveyard, yeah. There, <laughs> there, there. No, I didn't. All right. And draw and draw again. Play a forest as my land for turn. Yeah, let's do that. Three green mana. I play Circle of Dream Druid. I can tap it to add a green to my mana pool for each creature I control. And it's a 2-1 normally. Uh, an elf came on to the battlefield, so Door of Destinies gets counter. I'll tap three more and replay Riss. Riss is also an elf. And... I'll pass. Well, two cards. Uh, so land number uno, Haunted Ridge, comes in tapped unless I control two or more other lands. There's so many here. Uh, and then... What do you mean? A, I see only one. I'm just kidding. And then, uh, Mountain for my second land. Alright, uh, let's see. Red, red, two, three, and... Four for one treasure. Batali Primal Storm. Whenever it attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. I then may cast any number of spells from among them without paying their mana costs. Uh, I have a Cascade Trigger from Reign of Riches for six. Uh, Commander Sphere. Neat. Hey, I have that card. I should have played my Commander first. 
but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I could still play it. Let's put my rock with them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven twelve. twelve. Do, 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 do. Let's we'll ignore the fact that that song is older than all of us. Hey, I'm still happy there's a Sesame Street exhibit uh, at the museum downtown. Uh, I'm gonna go for. Black and one treasure. I know I'm not gonna get the trigger for that, but I'm gonna put Dead Man's Chest on a Tolly. Wait, doesn't that go on a creature in the pawn controls? Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. Shit. Well then, I will uh, not do that then. I'll take that back. I will play Prosper again, so. There's... That seems like a prosperous move on your part. <laughs> uh... I'm here all night. Prosper. You know what? I'll still do that. Screw it. But I'm going to throw it on Shadow's Shadowborn Apostle. Okay. I did cast a thing from Exile, so I get that treasure back. Uh, then I'm going to end step, exiling a Fiend of Shadows. Exile is just a second hand. Who needs a Reliquary Tower? And I'll play a Rattleclaw Mystic. Um, it taps for a red, a blue, or a green, and it has a morph ability that I did not use. Okay, so it taps for team or mana. Got it. The swamp into play. Garen, what's your mana situation looking like there, buddy? I have like five men presently accounted for. Of any color. Uh how cool are we right now, honestly? Because I dealt with the problematic board state on their ends. I have no present enemy. Okay. <laughs> me neither. Oh. I'm gonna see if you'll let me do this. <laughs> so... Bell Coffers is going to make four black and then one colorless. I will cast Secret Salvage. Exile target card from my graveyard. Search my library for any number of cards with the same name as that card. Reveal them, put them into my hand, and then shuffle my library. My target is Shadowborn Apostle. This is concerning. Unfortunately, we, 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 I... we good? I must yeah. ask priority. I'm sorry. So resolves? Resolves. Alright. Resolves. Enjoy. Will do. Do you have to reveal those cards? Yep. Okay, I was just curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! That's it. That's it. <laughs> I have to attempt to pick all of these up and put them in my hand. <laughs> Talk about 52 card pickup. It's, no, only, it's only 20 card pickup. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh god. I think you accidentally scooped up land. I might have. Hold on. I'll have a or look. Or two. I did, yeah. It was just the tapped ones. So that's my hand. <laughs> my... I wonder what's in it. It's still three cards. I can turn three cards into six. I have 25 cards in my hand. <laughs> it appears Garen has four? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Music, did we die?
JK, it's fine. It just freaked out for a minute. JK Elemental P? Pretty much. Pay one, two, three, four, five. Shadow Born Apostles. <laughs> oh boy. Unfortunately, I am out of mana, <laughs> so I can't search for a demon right now. Yep. <laughs> but I figure I would show you <laughs> that it's there. Uh, Aftergos is a creature. So, fair people on the other side, is this becoming a threat? Depends on what demon he digs up. I mean, that's also six Athreos triggers? <clears throat> yeah. I got a feeling I know where it's going. Alright. I will pass the turn. Okay. Yes, Scott, so I know I have random shit on the floor. I'm really happy I got that to resolve. <laughs> All right, one and two. I play a command tower. So I have an answer, but it might not be a good one. Shall I go ahead and go for it? Well, there are no dumb questions, but answers might possibly be dumb. So you're saying I should do it. Okay. So... Four, read what this does. A white, a uh, green, and a white. I play Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite. Uh, that solves it. Other creatures I control get plus two, plus two, and uh, creatures my opponents control get minus two, minus two. I'm gonna sacrifice this to go get a basic. Yay. Okay, I need a quick ruling check. Because uh -huh. of Tabarax. Clerics are going to be dying. Yeah, clerics are going to... Well, non-creatures are going to be dying. So it's going to be getting counters, but it's a 2-2 normally. They do still see each other die, so you still have all of his triggers. He just won't get bigger before he dies. Okay. You're, you're just going to get the arena animation where it goes... Okay, so I won't get the counters. He'll still die. But I get the trigger on the draw and lose life because clerics are dying, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, first we will resolve Athreos trigger, so... <laughs> Garen! Yeah? Would you like to pay 21 life? No, can, can't, you <laughs> can't you target separate people for that? I prefer you target. I'm sorry, I prefer target. All of, them. The, all of them? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's an Ellis Norn on the field. Until Ellis Norn is gone, it's not even a threat. Just keep them all. All right. Fair. So I'm going to draw six cards and lose six life. Okay. So all the things that die have died? Yes. I believe so. Okay. She's not an elf, unfortunately. But... Um, I'll tap my Circle of Dreams Druid for three mana, because I have three creatures. And then add one more to it. And play Wiltby Fleege. Other green creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures I control get plus one, plus one. And if a spell or an ability my opponent controls causes me to discard him, I would put him into play instead of putting him in my graveyard. He is an elf. So, Door of Destinies gets another counter. <laughs> I just wanted to share how many cards were in my hand. I know. It's okay. It's 33, by the way. Is that all? Yep. So, bro. Yeah. I'm going to swing at you with a... Uh... Hold on, I have to math. Even though math is for blockers. I don't have anything to block with, so... I know. One... Two, three, four, five. I have a 10 10 wrist coming at you. All right. And then I will pass the turn.
Yo, thank you, Rin, for the sub, drawing two cards. Uh, yo, that sub actually helped. I needed these cards. Let's do black, black. One, two, three, four, using a treasure. For a marionette master, fabricate three. When this creature enters the battlefield, put three plus one plus one counters on it or create three one one colorless servos. Whenever an artifact that control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to marionette master's power. We're gonna respond to its ETB trigger. Hold on, fabricate trigger on the stack, so before the counters go on, I'm gonna cast evacuation. Return, Return all creatures to their own risk. Yep. Thank you, former judge. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's do Prosper back. Welcome back, Prosper. Actually, I'm going to tap that a little differently so I can do this too. Black. Red. Jury. The jury's out on this one. Yeah, it really is. I guess I'll just lose the Fiend of Shadows going to end step and exiling a X. That is not going to be timely enough anyway. I appreciate you letting me have a fifth of my deck in my hand. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, I caused that. You wouldn't have that reliquary tower if it weren't for me. Yes, thank you for that. You're welcome, You're welcome for blowing it up. Oh. Uh, I mean... Thanks to this thing. So whenever it enters the battle, I reveal the top five cards in my library, and then I pick an opponent and they separate them into two piles, and uh, I get one and the other one goes to my graveyard. Ah, oh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have Mur pick my piles. Okay. I have three lands, and then I have Solemn Simulacrum, and I have Mana. Pool. I'm sorry, and Mana what? Mana Bloom. It um it uh it does nothing. It does nothing. Yeah. Hmm. It's not that it doesn't do anything, it does nothing. Hmm. Does reading the card say it does nothing? Yeah. <laughs> if you get anything else, I don't know what card you're reading. You know what? I tell you what. Just for shits and giggles. Three lands on one pile and sad robot and man of bloom in the other. You got it. I'll take the lands. Works for me. And then I will play two lanes. And a Tatiova. Tatiova is whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, gain life and draw a card. And then I am done. All right. Am probably dead. You have uh, no open mana now, right? Correct. All right. That's a mistake for a blue player. I'm not a blue player. I just play a couple blue cards that make me look like one. <laughs> right. This Crypt of Agadim will come into play tapped. For some reason, I heard Crypt of Agony, and I'm like, oh. No, nothing like that. <laughs> Crypt of Agony? Ah! <laughs> Uh, one white and a black. Edgewalker. Oh boy. It's a 2-2, two, two, and cleric spells I play cost uh, a white and a black less to play. Ah, fuck. Here goes the diarrhea. Resolves? Yep. 
Blue player, how could you? <laughs> you <have> nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I play uh, all those <laughs> Shadowborn Apostles for free. <laughs> This is painful. Don't uh, worry about the fact that I'm counting and keeping track of a number on the side. Uh huh. It, it's okay. Uh huh. Uh, white and a black. Cruel celebrant. So whenever cruel celebrant or another creature or planeswalker I control dies, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Yeah. Tap a black. Sack uh, shadowborn apostles. Yeah. Resolves? Okay. Uh, Cruel Celebrant trigger. Uh, you all take six, and I gain six. Uh, s six Athreos triggers, all targeting Garen. Sorry. Athreos is um, in play? How much mana do you Yeah, Athreos is in play. Okay. How much mana do you have up? Uh, six. What did you say? How much mana do you have up? Uh, I can make four more black. Okay, you can have them all. Okay. You realize he can play them for free. Yep. All right, oh, now boy. I'm going to search for a demon and put it into play. Things are getting spicy. Yes. I hate how Hex is a sorcery. I will put... Razakat the Foul Blooded into play. It is an 8 8 flying trample. Pay to life, sacrifice another creature, search my library for a card, and put that card into my hand, then shuffle my library. Wow! Uh, play the six Shadowborn Apostles back into play. Four more times! Four <laughs> more times! I'm, I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I'm mostly seeing if I can actually just straight up win the game right now. Oh, you're fine. I'd be surprised if you couldn't, to be honest. Uh, we'll do the Cabal Coffers thing and give myself four black. I'll use one to trigger Shadowborn Apostle again. So you each take six uh, from Cruel Celebrant, and I gain six. So Athreos triggers targeting Garen. All right. Um, can we not? Can we not what? I'm talking to Cody. Oh. The Voracious Shredder? So my dice bag has stupid long strings. Oh, is it one of those little coin purse things where you have to try it? Yeah. I know, I'm mean. I took away your toy. So I brought out Vilas Broker of Blood. Uh, it is the 8-8 flying. I can pay a black and pay two life. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. And whenever I lose life, I can draw that many cards. Uh, put the Shadowborn Apostles back into play. Oops, flick my die. I mean, I'm keeping track with the notepad now, so the dice kind of don't matter. Mm -hmm. I'll use one more to do the thing again. So you each take six again, and I gain six. I assume you're just going to put them back in my hand, Garen? Uh, given that Garen has only 11 life, I don't think they have much of a choice. Well, the, the reason I pick the player with the lowest is just to, to put pressure in so they can't pay for it. That's really the idea, so it can go off. Right, that's how the mechanic works. I get yeah. it. Yeah. It's not to, like, punish one person in particular. It's to make the mechanic work, I understand. Yeah. Uh, indulge a Tormentor. Bro, you're leaving me with so many fun things to try to deal with. Cast and of course, the... these all fly. <laughs> Cast the Shadowborn Apostles again. Mm -hmm. uh, use one black, do the thing again. Uh, you each take six. Do the thing, Julie. Uh, go back to my hand again, I guess. <laughs> Just do keep in mind when Garen dies, you lose your Reliquary Tower. I'm aware. No. I mean, he played 
22 cards out of his hand. I don't think he has to worry about that anymore. Are you sure? Archfiend of Depravity? Yep. Ooh, fun. Then back in play. One more time. One more time. Or you could just let uh, Garen have one turn to respond to it. <laughs> I feel like if I let someone respond, I'm just going to die or something. <laughs> nah, do the thing, Julie. We will... Uh, yeah, we'll sack them. Uh, you each take six. Crispy, you are my new target. Take them. You, you, you keep them. <laughs> All right. I fail to find. <laughs> oh, darn. Because <laughs> there are no demons left in my library. This is really unfortunate, but I think I'm going to have to move to this card, actually. Because I ran you out of gas. Now? I ran out of gas. Don't you have a, another Zag Hammer? I do, but I don't think I'm going to be able to kill. Actually, maybe I could. Can't you play those six Shadowborns again? Wouldn't that help yeah. you discard? I can play them again, yeah. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I could use Razaketh uh, 19 times, which would trigger Cruel Celebrant, and then... Yeah. Yep. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, yep. so I'll pay 38 life, sacrifice 19 creatures, Cruel Celebrant triggers 19 times, so. Yep. Wait. Hold on, let me... Just out of curiosity. Oh my god, I have a response, bro. Yeah? I tap two, tap my bow, and I gain three life. I have three life. He also has a lot of Aphrodite triggers. You, yeah, I just I just sacrificed three more creatures, so uh, even more concise. <laughs> yeah, you 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 can't have any of. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. GG's. <laughs>